Hi guys, this is Fernando. In this small video tutorial, I want to talk a little bit about the V-Ray uh, Pro image. This option is available on the output rollout and the name is Render to V-Ray Image. These options allow you to uh, render a very huge or very high resolution image without the crashing because you don't have enough memory or RAM or because the RAM and limit in a 32-bit application. So basically the render to V-Ray image render the image data directly to your hard drive and in this way you could save memory of RAM. In order to render the image as a V-Ray image file, you have to enable the options and select the, this icon, this um, button here. And then you can select, type any name and select any location into your hard drive and click save. If you see that the extension of this file is vrimg, you cannot open this file directly into the Photoshop. So you have to, after you make the render, you have to convert this file into a, another type of file that we, that Photoshop can open or any other uh, photo editing software can open. Um, so we have we need a tools to make that conversion. Okay. Um, when you click render, you are going to see the, this preview. Doesn't matter the amount or the size of your render, you are going to have a small windows with your preview. So you can see in the title, this said RGB preview instead of said RGB color. And also in the title here, visual frame buffer preview. So this is a small preview to let you know how is the process or the progress of the render. So I'm going to cancel this render because I already create the V-Ray image file. Um, but as I said before, we need a converter to convert the V-Ray uh, image file into a, in this case, EXR uh, file. This converter is available through our web page. So you can go to the download area and then click on the tools. In the second page, you are going to find the V-Ray image to open EXR file. When you download this file, it's a zip file. So you have to unzip that file. And in this case, I put the files into my um, desktop. And this is the the, the V-Ray image file that I, that I render. In order to convert the V-Ray image file, the only thing that you have to do is just drag and drop the file into the converter and automatically it's going to be converted to a EXR file. Now this EXR file, we can open it into Photoshop. So let me double click on it. Now we have the, the file or under render in Photoshop. The problem is that I have over gamma. So because the gamma that I have in Rhino and V-Ray and the gamma in Photoshop over gamma my 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 uh, render, so I have to invert the gamma that I use in um, V-Ray. If you want to be sure what was the gamma that you use, go to your V-Ray options, and in the global switches you are going to find the output gamma is 2.2. So we have to apply the inverse of the gamma in Photoshop. The invert of 2.2 is uh, 0.4545. So click on the image, adjustment, exposure, and on the gamma, 0.4545. And now the gamma is correct. Okay, this is an easy process to save memory, memory of RAM by saving or render the image as a V-Ray image file. I want to do the same thing using SketchUp. I have a, a nice exterior a scene that was made by Tail. So I like this scene because it has a lot of uh, vegetation, trees, palm, actually 3D grass, rock, bushes. And this file is really big. It's about uh, 110 megabytes and a lot of polygon so probably I'm gonna get a crash 
if I render this file directly into my uh, beefer frame buffer. In order to avoid the crash, I click on the output and enable the render to be ray image options, it's the same process that we did with Rhino. With the difference that now in this new build for SketchUp, you could render the file directly into an open EXR file. So you don't need the converter anymore in, in SketchUp, in a new build for SketchUp. So you don't have to convert the bitrate image into an EXR file, so you can render directly into an EXR. Okay, let me cancel because I already made the render to save time. Let's go back to my Photoshop file. And open the file. You can see this is a render. Same thing happened. I have over gamma, so I have to click on an image adjustment and correct the exposure again. The gamma 0 0.4545. 45. Now we have the correct gamma, and you can see when I um, zoom zoom in the the scene in my actual pixel. So it's a very huge image, and I was able to render these 4000 by something in SketchUp using B-Ray raw image. Okay, basically this is the tutorial that I have for you, how to use a V-Ray raw image in, a, in, the, in the Rhino case, how to convert the V-Ray raw image into an EXR file. In, in the case of, in a SketchUp case, you don't have to convert the V-Ray image because you can um, render directly into an EXR file. So hopefully you can enjoy this video and get advantage of this tool and see you next time. Bye bye.